WDSU first warning weather forecast. I hope you stayed warm this morning. Got another cold night, but warmer days ahead to ring in the new year. Then we got to talk a little rain. Let's check out the stats from today, though. We were as cold as 36 officially here in New Orleans. 54 was only the top temp. That was 10 degrees below, which is close to it. Nine degrees below the typical high for the time of the year. How about other top temps today? We didn't muster very high. We were only into the 50s. That's after the lows I started off here at the top of the newscast to show that we had the freeze North Shore and even Bell Chase coming with that light freeze as well. These are real time temps and a lot of more 40s starting to come along here. Slido all in North Shore into the 40s. Hammond's overtaken that lead with the coolest spot or chilliest spot at 44. Gulfport Biloxi into the upper 40s and the winds already starting to relax. The exception lakefront wind still at 18. So wind speed averaged over two minutes. But generally speaking, the winds will continue to relax as we as we go overnight and through the morning hours tomorrow. Is that core of that system that has gone all the way back to Christmas Eve? will finally be making its way away, taking the winds along with it. Cold morning, nicer tomorrow, chilly to start off the New Year's Eve, and then warmer. But then we got to talk a little rain coming in too with the next system. The good news, it's staying away from ringing in the New Year. Bad news, it might be around for the New Year. Any last clouds going away, light freeze North Shore. And we could see temperatures getting close to the freezing point here South Shore, but again, it's going to be the frost potential because the wind's not as strong. Look at the wind forecast, maybe only five miles per hour. There is a little bit of a wind chill to make it feel a little bit colder, but I could see some frost in those coldest areas South Shore and especially in the North Shore. If you got to be up early, cars parked outside, maybe watch out. You got to give it a couple of minutes to get the defroster on there too. High temps working upper 50s to low 60s. Lack of the breeze, total sunshine should feel phenomenal. Do you want to mention though on the waters we still have an exercise caution tonight through tomorrow morning Lake Pontchartrain getting into the Gulf tidal range is starting to come down from a recent maximum, but the waters are looking better coming in Saturday and Sunday. Those winds will be a little bit down, but there's still going to be a bit of a chop low temperatures on Sunday morning. Another light freeze to the North Shore, maybe some frost. Don't think we have much of a frost potential here. South Shore Galliano's 33s may be a little bit too cold for me. But again, it's just a chilly start to it, but a quick warm up. Maybe one or two clouds, no rain. Take a look at these temps. We are getting close to 70 and that is the Sugar Bowl Parade forecast too, which airs here on WDSU at three o'clock. Phenomenal weather for it. And again, some of us getting close to 70. If you happen to be in the bright sun, might get away with just T-shirt weather by then too. Let's bring in the new year. Initially, we looked at the chance that rain could be moving in by 1130 to midnight. Look at the sky forecast here. Maybe just a cloud or two. I'm going mostly clear. Increasing clouds late after we bring in the new year, but temperature wise, we're into the lower to mid 50s. Not bad, not dealing with fog, but in the new year, am tracking rain moving in. It's light rain at best, but it does look to be a daytime event after sunrise through midday, maybe a few hundreds of an inch to come down, but temperature still not bad. We're working mid to upper 60s with just a few rays of sun coming through. But this means for the activities for the Sugar Bowl in and around the midday and early afternoon hours could run into some light rain. You're still in the 60s, but by the time the game's kicking off prime time, rain ending, just some clouds and 60s falling to 50s. Extending a little bit out to next week, we could have some rain centered around Wednesday of next week. And then yet again to the following weekend of 2024, maybe our next season. WDSU first morning weather, seven day forecast. Look for the cold tomorrow morning, get through it, but warming up by the afternoon. 60s New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Just watch out for a little rain itself too, New Year's Day.